to the Soda Fiend. Today, we're going to taste something a little interesting. I've uh, kind of, uh, it's been a few days since I've shot any of these because I've kind of have been up to my neck in soda history, which is kind of continuing and kind of prepping uh, some more thorough examinations of some of the sodas that go back to the very dawn. But I'm not really going to do full histories. Uh, people have done those already. Uh, you can find a lot of them, and I am going to add them as links or at least like them so that you can look at my own choices of uh, videos that I found interesting here on YouTube. But today, what I'm going to do is avoid that altogether by taking a look at a soda that doesn't actually have all that much history. We are going to be talking about Fest Satsuma Mint Soda or Satsuma. I am not sure of the pronunciation of this word, to tell the truth. I have only ever read it. This is my first encounter with the flavor of Satsuma, which I am going to try to pronounce as though there is no accent on any syllable. Well, I mean, like, I won't accent the last syllable, definitely, but you get the idea. I'm going to try to avoid mispronouncing this by uh, exaggeratedly mispronouncing it in a way that will hopefully avoid doing worse. Anyway, this company uh, is out of New Orleans, Louisiana. I actually started in Madisonville, and they only make four flavors of soda. They are a genuine craft soda company. They're not affiliated with a brewery. All they make is this soda. They have their Satsuma Mint Soda. They have their Almond Cola. They have their Pecan Root Beer. And they have their Bourbon Cream Soda. And each of them has a name. The Satsuma Mint Soda is known as Flambeau. So, what's a Satsuma? Well, we've had a lime soda. We've had a lemon soda. Today we're going to take something close to a mandarin or tangerine. The Satsuma is a citrus fruit uh, from the American South. I believe it's native to the American South. I probably should have gone and looked this up a little more thoroughly before I started this tasting, but frankly, it's very late at night, and I wanted to get one of these done. So we'll come back to some more detail on the Fest Company at a later time. They... Um, I actually don't even know how old they are. The only article I could find on this company uh, was dated 2014, and it looked like they'd been running for maybe a couple of years at that point, but not very much longer as the founder of the company, whose name I have already forgotten, was still delivering personally out of his own truck. I no longer, or rather I don't know whether that is the case any longer. Regardless, this is the Satsuma Mint. So the Satsuma is, uh, by reports, sweeter than a tangerine or a mandarin orange, but is of the general orange flavor. And I thought I would lean toward an orange after having both a lemon and a lime, as well as corn squeeze in the citrus soda. And I became a little um, overwhelmed by the history factor in terms of just the regular old orange soda. So we're going to have this one instead. And without any further ado, let us crack and let us pour. Don't know whether I needed the opener for that or not. I just kind of grabbed it. Let us first do something I rather failed to do in my Dr. Pepper episode, which I regard now as a most egregious failing having done it since then. And I'm going to take the nose of this soda uh, before I take a sip of it or pour any of it. Now, I feel that I failed to do this with Dr. Pepper because the next time I opened a Dr. Pepper, I took a little whiff of it. And I actually said that it smelled odd after having poured it in the glass. But if you whiff it straight from the bottle... Dr. Pepper smells absolutely heavenly. Um, so, let's take a little whiff of Fest Satsuma Mint. That's for you, now for me. Hmm. That smells potent. Um, let's pour... Oh, I'm going to take a little swig on the way.
It is potent. It tastes of genuine citrus. I have no idea whether it is. I should probably have looked at the ingredients, shouldn't I? Let's let the rail bottle take center stage. And I will read from the prop bottle instead. So, for one thing, we've got 43 grams of sugar here. Uh, not terribly surprisingly. This ingredients list is difficult to read. I'm going to have to go to a light for this. Oh, carbonated water, sugar, natural flavors, citric acid, sodium benzoate as the preservative, and potassium sorbate as a secondary preservative. Fruit and vegetable juice for color and beta carotene. So we got natural color in this soda, and the flavor is natural as well. 10 milligrams of sodium, negligible. Uh, One thing about Fest is that they actually source their sugar locally in Louisiana, which I find rather neat. And the whole idea behind this line of soda is to have uh, unique flavors. And so we have the Satsuma Mint, which so far is just really overwhelmed by the citrus, in my opinion. Let's take some more. The mint is at the back, but it's right. This is good. This is very good, actually. This tastes more like genuine citrus juice than... Really, most any orange soda that I've had. There's a little hint of... Mountain Dew throwback, but that mint starts to kick in on the after breath, and it leaves a, an aftertaste in your mouth, too. It's a spearmint kind of mint. Um, wow, this is very good. Let's try some with some cubes, although I think I'm probably going to prefer this one without. I only have two of these, so if the ice messes this up, I don't want to sacrifice too awfully much. The color's pretty good on this. It looks a little different. It's a little yellower than the typical orange soda, probably because they are not using um, the usual yellow and red dyes. This survives the ice. The mint is really intact. The mm, more of this you drink, the more the mint comes to the foreground. This is a very interesting idea for a soda. I think they've really got something here. And uh, by the way, I mean, let me turn the video light on here. Because I really want to show you this bottle. Now... People much older than me, this probably looks a little chintzy 70s, but. To my eyes, I was born 1971, and man, this bottle is like going home. This is a beautiful design, and they use the same design uh, for their darker sodas. Their cream soda is actually as dark as this. Well, almost anyway. And, uh,. It's just really reminiscent of the a lot of the 1970s, just the best of soda can design and product design from that era, and I think they're doing that on purpose. Uh, I mean, like, you could hardly not be doing that on purpose. Um, anyway, it. I mean, it looks like everything that's great about... What used to be the printed bottle. Now, unfortunately, this is a uh, a stick-on decal. It's not quite as cool as an ACL printed soda bottle, but it is a remarkable facsimile of one, i got to admit. And right up here, 
a flambeau. So, I would say Fest here is aptly named because it provided a festival for my taste buds. And Satsuma will have to make our acquaintance in the real world with a real fruit soon because I find this flavor delicious. And if this soda is representing it accurately, then I definitely want to put one of these little suckers right in my mouth and squish it right to death. So, yeah, I think I'll be finishing off this Satsuma Mint Soda from Fest and consuming the other one as well, and we might meet again in the future. Um, we'll be looking at some more sodas from Fest as we go along, and I will have a little more to say, hopefully, in the realm of facts about the company, because this episode, frankly, was done very quickly. It took almost as long to make it as it did to shoot it. So, going to sign off with a hearty recommendation for Fest Satsuma Mint. All right. Thank you very much, and good night. <laughs>